back to Tech Ninjistics. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on upgrading uh, iPhoto from iPhoto 09 to iPhoto 11. Um, here we have our copy of iPhoto 09. And we're going to kind of upgrade the new way, which is through the Apple App Store, um, which should simplify the process a good bit. Here we are on 09. We're going to close this. And here we go on to the App Store. And we're going to find iPhoto 09 under the iLife um, 11 category. Excuse me, I, iPhoto 11. And we'll click here, we'll buy the app. Ask us if we really want to buy the app. Enter in the username and password. and your app will begin to download. And uh, we're gonna take a pause right now. Uh, if we click the Purchases tab here, we'll, we'll see uh, how much there is to download. That's a 762 uh, megabyte app, so that's gonna take a few minutes. We'll pause. We're back with about a minute remaining, and it's finishing up the download. Yeah, the App Store is um, Apple's kind of new way to distribute software and it's made a lot of these tasks like installing updates to um, iLife Suite really simple and they've broken up the iLife Suite um, allowing you to download each app individually so you can get iPhoto upgraded if you need to without iMovie or GarageBand or you can get them all uh, just by downloading them individually so right now the App Store is installing the app as it indicates over here, less than a minute. You can see all the other apps here on the list that have been uh, previously installed or, or can be installed. When you download any app from the App Store, uh, you can install it on all the computers that are licensed to your Apple ID, which is really nice. So I now own this app for uh, all my different computers. And it's going to go ahead and bounce right there. I'll go ahead and launch iPhoto. Now, uh, hopefully upgrade to the new version. And it's going to ask if uh, we need to upgrade the photo library uh, for the new version, and we'll go ahead and do that, making some formatting changes to the uh, photo library in the back end. And that'll take a minute here, um, as I have around 20,000 photos. So we're going to hang on a second. Here we see it's going through and uh, examining the photo library and uh, kind of going through the first part of the process. Now we're upgrading the uh, iPhoto database here. And that all happens on the back end. The larger your library, the longer that's going to take. Uh, in our case, it could take a little bit here. And we'll see the bar kind of start ticking away the little blue bar right here. Fortunately, the uh, upgrade process is pretty easy. You don't have to do anything. Um, we're already noticing some new buttons here while we wait. So we're just finishing the uh, iPhoto database upgrade. Um, <clears throat> basically, just a little side tip here. The iPhoto database is stored in your uh, home and your pictures folder. If you go down to uh, iPhoto library right here, this is basically just a, um, a, a kind of a grouping of files. It, it shows up as one file, but there are a lot of little files in there. And uh, some of those files are little descriptor files that, that tells you basically about the photo, all the information about the photo, and also holds uh, information on what changes you've made to the photo. Um, if you've adjusted the color, if you've cropped the photo, that's all stor stored in the... Uh, iPhoto library. So that's what's getting upgraded to support new iPhoto features. Another thing I should mention is that uh, my current iPhoto library is backed up and that's uh, 
kind of a best practice that you want to do and just get in the habit of. Uh, the good thing is that Apple has Time Machine and can even open my Time Machine preferences and our upgrade just finished here, which is good. So there's Time Machine. It has handled the backup for me. And uh, that's good just in case something goes wrong and I need to roll back. Um, we can see the icons on the side, which are new. We can see the full screen view, which is a new feature of um, iPhoto 11 and will also be rolled into uh, Lion, the new 10.7 10, uh, 10 operating system that we're going to see pretty soon. Again, we're going through more updates, so we'll pause and kind of skip over to the end of that. I just opened up the uh, iLife 11 2011 website here. And uh, just to go over some new stuff, so they advertise the full screen mode. And again, that's uh, kind of a big feature coming to all 10.7 um, Lion apps. And we'll talk about that probably in another video. Uh, Facebook enhancements, so you can do um, more sophisticated things when you're tagging friends, when you're sharing. You can choose, uh, create new albums, send uh, photos to a profile picture easier, and actually do browsing of Facebook albums um, from iPhoto. A lot of the updates around uh, sharing, uh, emailing photos, new slideshow features, which are cool, uh, and different templates for those. Uh, iPhoto and iMovie both got some cool new template uh, type features. iMovie getting a um, kind of a trailer sort of creation feature for your home movies. Um, book choices. Letterpress cards, these are cool. So they have the uh, imprints there. Kind of high quality stock cards and, and they have a cool video on how they're made. Um, easy to send items from iPhoto out to Aperture. So if you do have Aperture on your computer uh, for more professional photo editing um, or, or dealing with large volumes of uh, photos taken in a raw format, um, you can do that really simply. And we're almost done here with the library update. Um, do carve out a little time when you're upgrading iPhoto uh, to a new version. It takes a little while to do all the library updates and, and you shouldn't shut off your computer or, or pause your computer or anything. Um, put your computer to sleep while you're doing the updates. You want to kind of just let it run and let it take care of business on the back end. We're almost done. Okay, there we finished with the uh, library upgrades. And there's all our events, and they've been updated. Uh, still ordered by date, and it welcomes me. Uh, help in the getting started guide, so we'll look over that later. Some formatting updates, but it's still the same uh, iPhoto there. Your photo viewer here for uh, individual photo view. Uh, we have faces and places, so if you want to tag individual people, uh, different albums that we've worked on recently, and again, it does have that full screen view, so that's kind of nice when you're working on a smaller, maybe a uh, MacBook Air or something like that. And that's it. That's uh, the iPhoto upgrade. I hope you'd enjoyed that, and it. Uh, makes you feel comfortable doing your own upgrade uh, to the new version. Uh, later in different videos, we'll get more into depth on new features and old features and how to make the most out of iPhoto. Thanks.